for the World Middleweight Championship. Vince Dundee, the champion, Teddy Yarrow's the challenger. Dundee with a stripe down his trunks. At Forbes Field, Pittsburgh, September 11, 1934. The referee is Al Graybar. This is the third time these two men have fought, but the first time they fought for the title. Vince Dundee on the right. Teddy Arrows, the quicker, the faster of the two. Dundee, the harder puncher. Yarrows wailing away against the ropes. And Dundee holding on. This is the first round of a scheduled 15 rounder. The judges for the fight are Leo Hauck and Dr. George Macbeth. That's the end of the first round. In the second round, Teddy Arrows was beating Dundee to the punch. Dundee now warming up for the full 15 rounds. Again, Yarrows beating with a straight left jab. Vince Dundee comes from a fighting family. His brother Joe, the former world's welterweight champion. And there goes Dundee through the ropes. Pulled through there by Teddy Yarrow. It's not a knockdown. And the boys, in the best of friendly manner, touch gloves. Here in the third round. Vince Dundee fly, fighting flat-footed. Yarrow's up high on his toes with that quick left hand. time they fought in August of 1933 at Pittsburgh, Yarrows won a 10-round decision. The second time in September of 1933, Yarrows again won the 10-round decision. That's the end of round three. Through the fourth and fifth rounds, it was Teddy Yarrows outpointing the champion Vince Dundee. Now Dundee concentrating on a body attack against Teddy Yarrow. Yarrow's wanted to be a fighter from the time he was a very small boy. When he was in the fifth grade, his idol, Pete Latzo, won the welterweight championship, and little Teddy boasted that someday he would be a champion too. He made good on that promise, but on the way to getting tonight's title shot, he had to knock out his old idol. He stopped Latzo in four rounds on June 5th of 1934 at Pittsburgh. Yarrow's a good-looking fellow, wavy brown hair, brown eyes, very white teeth and a pleasant smile, but he's not smiling now. Vince, as we said, comes from a fighting family. Besides brother Joe Dundee, two others took to the ring. Battling Dundee fought as a professional, and brother Tom was a fighter with the U.S. Marine Corps. Vince Dundee is regarded as one of the cagiest boxers in the ring for his weight. This is round six of a scheduled 15 rounder for the world's middleweight championship held by Vince Dundee. Dundee on the left. Yarrows with that quick left hand, keeping Vince Dundee off. Dundee with roundhouse rights and lefts, and Yarrow stepping inside of those punches. That's the end of round six. Coming out now for round eight. A crowd of 25,000 here at Forbes Field in Pittsburgh. The receipts are $70,000.
Yarrows weighs 157 and a quarter. Dundee, 158 and a half. Yarrows butts Dundee to the canvas. It's no knockdown. Dundee, looking for help, fails to get it from the referee, Al Graybar. Round eight of a scheduled 15 rounder. In October of 1933, Vince Dundee defeated Lou Brulard in Boston, a 15-round decision, to win the middleweight title. Brulard was a heavy favorite in that fight, but Dundee received the unanimous decision. Teddy Yarrow still with that quick left hand, a good solid left jab. Both men wrestling each other around, and Al Gray Boss separates them. Again, Al Gray Boss separates the two men. The pace is beginning to tell here in this rugged 15 rounder. Yarrows with that flicking left, and then the good right cross by Teddy Yarrows, another right cross by Yarrows. Dundee is slowed down. Dundee a solid body puncher. Looking to get in close. Yarrows keeping him off with that flicking left hand. Seems to slap at Dundee with his right. getting set for round 13. The fight is very close now. Vince Dundee has been getting stronger. That was a slip then. Yarrow's going back into the corner to your left. Slipped as he went back, down to one knee. No knockdown charge against Teddy Yarrow. Vince Dundee has been getting stronger. Yarrow slowing down somewhat. And the fight is mighty close. This is round 13. Yarrow's holding on now. He builds up a lead in the early rounds. But Dundee may be catching him now. Dundee going after Teddy Yarrow's. Dundee looks the stronger of the two. Yarrow still dancing, not quite as spryly as he did in the opening rounds. Dundee with a good right hand. Caught Yarrow's coming in and Yarrow's holds. Vince Dundee, the defending champion. Teddy Yarrow's the challenger. that quick left hand by Teddy Yarrows, keeping Dundee off, but a good right uppercut by Dundee. Yarrows was staggered, and again a right uppercut by Dundee. Yarrows holding on now. Closing seconds of the 13th round, and that's the end of the 13th. The final round of the bout coming up for the world's middleweight crown. They touch gloves. Both men know how close this fight is. Both looking to finish strongly. They've gone 15 rough, fast rounds.
Dundee stumbled, got right up and continued. There hasn't been a knockdown in the fight. And they wrestle each other around. They're giving it everything they've got here in the closing minutes of the bout. Teddy Yarrow's walking Dundee back to the ropes. Dundee comes trotting out. Yarrow's almost fell, then both men are near.